An 84-year-old carpentry shop in Bar Harbor was destroyed Tuesday morning in a fire, the cause of which cannot be determined, according to officials. The blaze at R.L. White & Son in the local village of Hulls Cove was reported around 3 a.m., Bar Harbor Fire Chief Joey Kang said. No one was injured in the fire, but it destroyed a connection the 109-year-old firm had with Mount Desert Island's architectural past. R.L. White & Son is a Finnish carpentry firm with a specialty in restoration and cabinetry work. Power equipment, hand tools, and an extensive lumber inventory inside the 4,500 square foot workshop all were destroyed in the flames. Michael L. Hodge, general manager of the carpentry business, said Tuesday that the shop had an array of nearly 1,000 different cutter heads that the business used to replicate old moldings that are no longer mass produced. The shop building was constructed in 1928, he said. The shop also had a large quantity of historic milled lumber some of which R.R. White & Son had kept since it was delivered to Mount Desert Island decades ago by ship, according to El Hodge. Old growth pine, mahogany, cherry, cedar, poplar, and butternut were among the varieties of wood that could be found in the shop's lumber inventory. El Hodge said the situation is sad because the vast majority of the shop's contents are not salvageable and much of it is irreplaceable. Standing near the pile of rubble, Watching a backhoe pull the smoldering debris apart, El Hodge said most of the equipment and lumber destroyed in the blaze no longer are being manufactured or milled. According to Kane, R.L. White & Sons Insurance Company and an investigator with the state fire marshal's office were at the fire scene Tuesday morning. A backhoe was used to tear down the building and pull apart the burning rubble in order to make sure the fire was out, he said. Kane estimated that monetary damage from the fire likely will add up to several hundred thousand dollars. He said nearly 50 firefighters from Bar Harbor, Mount Desert, Southwest Harbor, and Trenton responded to the blaze. According to El Hodge, R.L. White & Son has 12 employees and will get back to work as soon as possible, perhaps as early as Wednesday. This is Bill Trotter reporting for the Bangor Daily News.